Hello and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial and this Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial series by me, Ty Matthews. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a follower in the Skyrim Creation Kit so that you can put this follower in Skyrim and simply have a new follower, obviously. I'm only going to be showing you the basics and perhaps if I get enough requests I will put a more in-depth tutorial on followers later on. But as for now, I think this will do. And there are other tutorials about followers out there. In fact, plenty of, of them are out there. But I think that the more tutorials there are, the better. So that you can get the most out of what you're watching. So, let's get started. As you can see here, there is a new NPC that I made that I have not introduced to you yet. I just m made this outside of the tutorial called Tutorial Bossmer Follower. I haven't done anything w with him but create him. And I'm going to be showing you how to turn an NPC into a follower, basically. We already did make a tutorial about creating an NPC, so if you're confused about that, go ahead and watch that tutorial first. So, I've got this freshly made NPC here. I'm going to click Edit. And there are only a couple of things that we need to do to turn this character into a follower. First, make sure Essential and Unique are checked. Sometimes when you shift between tabs, that will turn off for some reason. So make sure that that's checked before you click OK at the end. So, the next thing we need to do, go to Factions, right click, click New. And it brings up all of these factions that you can add your NPC to. All we're searching for is a couple of follower factions. First, put in current follower faction, and then put in potential follower faction. Now what you need to do next in this tab is use F2 right here, or just click it once, and you can rename it to negative 1. And the reason you're going to want negative 1 there is because after this character becomes a follower they're going to put in rank 0 which allows them to act as a follower for you so you're going to want to make sure that that's at negative 1 otherwise it won't work the next thing you're going to want to do is click OK and there's actually only one more thing we need to do in the object window go to character and relationship right click click new and choose an ID such as I don't know follower new player or something like that but I'm gonna call mine tutorial Breton follower and the parent NPC is the first subject of this relationship and obviously that will be tutorial Bosmer follower. Then the child NPC will be the the other NPC associated with this first NPC, and that's the player. And that's because the follower follows the player. And the relationship level ally. That way they don't randomly attack you or treat you overly kindly. After that, that's all you really need to do, so click OK. Save your file, that would be a good idea. And there's only one more thing we need to do, which is place the follower. So get out your render window. I'm going to put mine in solitude, the winking skeever. Here we go, it's loading up, and yes to all, and we are in the Weakened Skeever. So in your object window, type in the ID of your new follower and drag them in, yes to all. 
and there they are. If you go in game, you will see your follower in there, and he will have full dialogue, um, which is associated with the follower, already done for you. But if you want to get more in depth with the followers, you can voice act them, which is pretty fun. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. It was it's pretty simple. I will see you in a couple of weeks with another tutorial.